So now, let's say some lady's walking across the street with a stroller and he kills her and her baby. For the foreseeable future, he's fucking gone. How fucking stupid is that? To taunt a cop like that. Filming with one hand, driving with the other, 210 miles an hour. Ridiculous. What are the different penalties for if you got caught doing what you're doing? I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot. Analyzing the penalties and not giving it. That's called a deliberate indifference. That is the thing that, that judges fucking hate the most. Oh. Bruce Rivers sees the criminal lawyer. Well, who is he? Bruce Rivers sees the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers sees the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your very own personal board-certified criminal defense lawyer, with our content genius behind the camera, behind the plan, behind the laptop. Everything I do is a direct result of his influence, so he gets the props. I don't. I'm just, I just work here, man. Anyway, uh, today we're reacting to squeeze bends. Don't know if you know anything about squeeze bends, but squeeze bends is a... Um, a phenomenon, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Before we get to that, guess who this is brought to you by? Our sponsor. Our sponsor, eForms.com, is just a very effective way to avoid the high-priced lawyer to just draft a form that keeps you out of court. For example, like my grandmother, she, she was living in my basement. Remember that? And but you know, and she had a car, but she tried to copy the squeeze bends. You should have seen her rip around town. Well, we had to get rid of it. So what do we do? We sell it and. But we had him sign a bill of sale. Why do you do that? Let's say you sell a car. Let's say it's a junker. And you sell it to somebody and they don't take it out of your name. They don't transfer the title. Well, guess what? You, they get a ticket. That's going to go to you. You have a bill of sale. Now you've got documentation to show that it's not your car. It keeps you out of a lawyer's office. So, for example, if you have a business venture, you know, or you have any kind of power of attorney needs, or if you have a bill of sale, or a rental agreement, or any kind of legal form that you need, go to eForms.com. Trust me, it's a bargain. And, you know, you not, might not need it all the time, but when you do, it's there. eForms.com is a very effective way to stay out of court and stay out of my office, because it's expensive. So, eForms.com, no matter what your needs are, they got the form for it eforms.com. Let's just talk about what Squeeze Ben does. He's he's in a group of people that um, tears around the city and tries to ev evade the police. They rent cars, really fast cars. So, you know, it's all well and good to have a creative idea and to make money off the internet. What do you think we're doing, you know? But it's another to really put yourself and others at risk. At a real risk. So now, let's say some lady's walking across the street with a stroller and he kills her and her baby. For the foreseeable future, he's fucking gone. So the only there's one or two reasons to do this. Uh, just to fuck with the car because it's kind of fun to do or to draw attention. And I think it's more to draw attention uh, so he can try to outrun the cops. <laughs> when I see this kind of shit, all I see is, is somebody just jutting out in front of him and all of a sudden creating a huge wreck. What kind of what kind of crime are, can you be charged with if that happens? You kill somebody, you know. It's one thing to be a little reckless, but it's another thing to taunt people because that's one of the things he's been doing. He's been taunting the police. He's been, you know, he's got this channel. So I'm gonna just be a fucking fun guy, you know. But if you kill somebody like this. It's aggravated. It's aggravated by the brazen nature of what we're talking about here. By aggravated, I, what I'm saying is he has an indifference here to human life. And when you have a prolific action, in other words, he's all over the place. 
And he has this indifference, this this kind of joyride. Who the fuck cares? I'm going to just go off and do what I'm going to do. And it doesn't, I don't care who I hurt or how I hurt them. That is an aggravating factor. But when you have an aggravating factor that's this bad, because you'll see how we get into this um, in a little bit, judges really don't like the brazen nature of some folks when they're just, and, and, and this is all on video. So all they have to do is link it back to him and see you later. See, there's a cop right there, right in front there, and he doesn't give a shit. All right, now he's in the fucking bike lane. Now I am not a fan of bike lanes, honestly. I'm I'm not a tree hugging liberal. I'm, I'm kind of liberal, but I'm not I'm not a fan of bike lanes. I don't know what it is. They just bug me. But what the fuck are you doing? You know, what if somebody just all of a sudden you you're going down this skinny lane? And if, if there's a bicycle in there and you run somebody over, you're going to kill them. I just, I don't have confidence in myself in driving like that. I know he thinks he's a professional driver. And then to top it off, you know, this is for his channel, right? So he, he, he puts these reckless videos up and what is that? What do we call that? That's self-snitching. I mean... You put something on the internet, it's there permanently. And how hard is it going to be for the cops to do a search warrant and get all the records from the internet, uh, from Google or whoever, uh, well, Google because it's YouTube, and, uh, and have that trace that back to him? Not that, not that hard. Let me tell you something about being 19 years old. He's 19 years old, and, and one of the things that you think about, about the world when you're 19 is that you fucking know everything. Right, you think you've got you've learned all there is to know. You now you're now you're 19. You're not 18. You're not in high school anymore. You got your shit going on. Well, do you remember we did a video a little while back? Um, this young man got a new brand new car and he had a girl, pretty girl, into it, and they were 19 as well. And he's doing the same fucking thing, and he goes under a semi, and basically they get decapitated. Whether it's him in the car or somebody outside the car. It's just the danger is there. So the, the idea of going for a fucking joyride seems fun and let's go race and all that kind of stuff. If you want to race, get a fucking race car and go around the track. You know, don't do it on the street. I don't know if you guys remember last summer when I went on my motorcycle trip. It only takes one little misstep. You know, we were doing everything right. We weren't doing this. And this broad just came out into our lane and smashed our head on our lead rider. It doesn't take much to take a life away. He didn't die, fortunately. But it is what it is. So they got these videos, and you're a fucking judge sitting on his case. Guess what? There's your aggravation right there. So he's hawking his horn, you know, and that's the other thing. All he's got to do is piss off somebody on the road. How many people have guns these days? A lot of people have guns. A lot of people have, you know, and you just know, don't know what you're going to get on the road. And not only that, he's in a highly populated area of New York City. So there's a cop right next to him. How fucking stupid is that to taunt a cop like that? It's like, it's like. You see some of these videos where, you know, people drink a, a, a fake beer in front of a cop or they do, you know, that's kind of innocuous and it's kind of funny. I think I see, saw one TikTok where the guy said, oh, I got Coke in the, in the trunk. I got Coke in the, oh, shit, you got me. I got, 
and he opens the trunk and it's just a bunch of Coca Cola. This is just dumb because this can so easily just land you in jail. <clears throat> And what this has done with the cops in New York City is because he, he he was successful in outrunning them several times. It, it gives them motivation to fucking bust him, you know. And let me tell you something: there's no motivation better than or more stronger than a cop who's been burned. So no doubt he's probably taken the plates off because I'm sure that's one of the first things that they do. So let, let's go to Tommy G's interview with him. Tommy G does a lot of documentaries. We, we did a reaction to Punch Made Dev. You can go back and watch that. Uh, and we're probably going to do a collab with him. Take a look at this. And, and this is more reason. This just drives me nuts. Because if there's anything you can do about a particular case in terms of a defense, it's ruined by... It's ruined by your defense is ruined by putting it on the internet. Let's just see what they have to say. On a scale of one to 10, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a 10, nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. It started like about a year ago, I got my first bend, and I always did like little driving videos, and I never really took it to nothing. And then my boy started saying like, you know, mad people are blowing up off this. And I was just like, you know, it. that's just how it started. I'm curious. And whenever you say, fuck it, that's that just shows you know, a lack of insight, what can happen tomorrow. And the 19-year-old brain, guess what? Doesn't really think about what's going to happen tomorrow. It's like you have a Lamborghini, at one point a Mercedes-Benz. I'm sure you go through a lot of different cars. Are you going on tour and just driving through those cars all crazy? crazy. You guys getting your own cars? Like, tell me about that. I had my own car for a bit, but then I changed it up because I did get chased a lot. So I, I get chased a lot? <laughs> Fuck. You know, if... if Fleeing the police is a felony. You know, running away from the police is ju generally a misdemeanor. And, you know, a felony can wreak havoc with your life at 19 years old because it's a permanent tattoo. And one of the things that you, you know, and I don't really like chases. I mean, I like to watch them, of course, like in the movies, that kind of thing. But, but chases are dangerous. They're dangerous to the public. I've seen time after time people getting killed because of a police chase. You know, they, they've done something now where, where they shoot something at the car, it sticks, and then they got a, a homing device to figure out where the car goes rather than chase them. Um, and the, sometimes they use drones. There's all kinds of different other ways to, to, you know, follow a car without actually chasing because it's so dangerous to the general public realize like you know doing long-term rentals is just a way better route and then obviously i don't tell these guys on the street but did you ever get blown up by the tour people asking what the hell happened they do ask and then like i kind of just like you know i'm just driving the car you know what I, mean? you I was just driving the car you know what i mean i mean i wasn't really beating the shit out of it it's danger but there's also other people at risk when you do that innocent civilians so what do you think about the element of danger for that i've been doing this since like real shit since i was nine i used to take my dad's car out and i used to just walk out i've been doing this for so long now that i feel like oh, i'm dead ass and professional I, like you know they i'm dead ass professional so once you lose the fear of an accident and you think you're you know invincible that's when the danger comes. I ride a motorcycle, and I've, re I've been riding a motorcycle since I was 18 years old. And when, and I'm, I'm afraid, not afraid, afraid, but I mean, I'm careful because I'm afraid of what might happen, like what would happen in Alaska, or in the Yukon, where we got in, in that crash. You know, it was the most violent thing I've ever seen. And my buddy had been riding forever, and, uh, and it was just somebody doing something stupid. It's only going to take one time for some. I mean, he could be killed. The people that in the other car or on the street could be killed. You know, niggas know, like, that's how I drive. There's been incidents where I've gone out with people and they try keeping up with me and they crash. How fast do you go? I mean, there's been a video on my where I've gone one hand to 210 miles an hour. Filming with one hand, driving with the other 210 miles an hour. Yeah. Ridiculous. That's insane. Did that scare you? Not really, just to build up a power. And if you kill somebody doing that, it isn't going to be manslaughter. Manslaughter is culpable negligence, gross negligence. That'd be more like unintentional murder too. Because, or felony murder. 
which is basically the same thing. Do you feel like the police watch your Instagram? 100%, they do. Let's pop in the car and keep the conversation going. Whoa, 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> How many people normally f you out compared to like, am I in the high end of this? No, <laughs> That's okay. Does your mom worry about you? Boy, I call it. She don't even want to hear the things that I'm doing. She be getting scared because she know I be doing shit. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know any friends that have gotten really hurt or died doing this? My boy, he was racing and he macked up and he hit his head and his head like split open a little bit. He needed stitches, but like other than that, nothing's ever happened. Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, what did you think of the play? I mean, other than my buddy splitting his head wide open, I don't know if he died or not, but I mean, when you have that 19 year old brain, it's so undeveloped. You know, you think that, you know, you, you get to your 20s and you, it's not till your uh, male is like 26 where his brain is fully developed. Tell me about the camera system in New York. How hard is it to evade capture or awareness of the police? Super easy. A lot of people like, like they be doing crimes with their plates on. Like, I mean, if I go and run from a cop, I'm going to make sure I either have uh, altered plates or no plates at all. New York City is home to one of the most advanced camera surveillance networks on the planet. An Amnesty International project identified that there are more than 25,000 public and private cameras at traffic intersections across the city. So the car is easily identifiable. It's on, it's on his page, and they can trace, you know, you, you get the records. Okay, where do the Google payments go to? Whose account do they go to? How hard is that? That's, Michael just brought up a good point. He's 19. Generally speaking, you can't rent cars when you're 19. I don't know if Turo is different, but, you know, he's probably got somebody else that rents the cars for him that he cuts in on the deal. City. This camera technology can capture faces and other details from up to 400 feet away. This infrastructure isn't cheap either. This camera technology combined with cell phone tracking tools, spyware, and facial recognition racked up nearly $3 billion in expenditures from the end. Doesn't that look like something out of the future? I mean, that looks like nothing that I saw when I was a kid. Expenditures from the NYPD from 2007 to 2019. When street racers run rampant in the city, it's easy for governments to make the argument to increase the surveillance in order to shut down this reckless and deadly behavior. However, this same technology can also be used to capture the profiles of millions of civilians on a daily basis, something that is currently happening in China and that many Americans are afraid of. As technology such as AI facial recognition and high def cameras increase in quality, this is a challenge we are going to have to wrestle with to ensure the very tech that can help keep us safe also doesn't grow too powerful to infringe upon our freedoms. What are the different penalties for if you got caught doing what we're doing? Jail time. I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot. See, do you see what he's talking about there? Analyzing the penalties and not giving a shit. That's called a deliberate indifference to the law and to the people in front of your car. That is the thing that, that judges fucking hate the most because you you can have somebody go on a joyride once and get busted and it's not that big a deal but a systematic pattern of flouting the law and doing this kind of stuff is something that a judge would use to enhance a sentence for sure Think about um you know anything from just regular speeding up to you know reckless driving up to you know manslaughter all the different aggravating factors impact a sentence right so the more egregious the more uh you know the longer the jail time typically and but you also lose your license so you lose your freedom you lose your license but you had a good time doing it you know and it's so fleeting you know he's making money doing this but it is fleeting you know, this, this shit can't last because he's going to kill somebody and he's going to wind up in jail. <laughs> it only takes one mistake to permanently change or destroy somebody's life. I do understand that. It's just like, we were also like, it was a lot of people, 12 o'clock in the morning, you seen in the video, like I stopped, looked around, made sure there was nobody and started doing jail. And then when I was running the red light, I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key bugging. I low-key know how to run red lights. I've been chased by Mac to the point where I could blow the red lights doing 60, 70. No one Blowing red lights at 60 or 70 miles an hour. The, the brazenness with which he does this, it's just astounding. Dude, what is your strategy? Getting away, getting away. Uh, 
hopping on the highway, on the highway, so you start really don't know that it's a lot of real rookie cops, rookie cops, a bunch of rookie cops. And cops do take driving school, but you know, it sounds like he's been doing this a long time. And you know, they also, you know, when when they start pursuing somebody, if it gets too fast, if it gets too dangerous, they're instructed to back off because it's better to let that guy go than to kill somebody. And you know, cops kill people every fucking day on the road in high speed chases. And they get their balls are fucking bigger than shit. They sweat. They, you know, oh, I'm going to get that motherfucker, you know. And, you know, back the fuck off. Slow your roll, you know. That's why I think this this device I saw where they shoot something at the car, it sticks to it. And then the, now they have a beacon, um, you know, to, uh, to find the vehicle. And they can back off and they can just find it on an app. These guys do not know how to drive on the highway. Let's talk about how drivers like Ben's can evade detection for so long. They do so by altering or covering up their license plates so the car cannot be tracked by police or the traffic cameras. Cars with his modification have been nicknamed ghost cars. Last month, a joint task force was launched between New York Governor's Kathy Hochul, New York Mayor Eric Adams, the NYPD, and the MTA to crack down on the issue of ghost cars. In their first day alone, they impounded 73 cars, issued 282 court summons, and made eight arrests. And I noticed the same thing back home in Milwaukee. The guys running through the red lights, driving the stolen cars, and driving aggressively, most of them do not have license plates. What's the longest police chase you've been in? 30 minutes, 20 minutes. That's a pretty long chase. How many guys do you think were chasing you at one time? I had to do like three, four, but the amazing was the hell of a You know, you think that 30, 40 minutes doesn't seem like a long time? Hold your breath for that long. I mean, when you're going balls out, that is a long time, actually. I was in the Porsche, and that shit does 210 miles an hour. So I just hopped in the highway, you know what I mean? The helicopter can only go so fast. You go faster than the helicopter? Yeah, they only like top out like 150, 140. Oh my motherfucker! okay, easy, Tiger. Easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. No more, no more. Ooh, that motherfucking made me. Imagine me doing that. In a hundred? Yeah, it Burden videos? <laughs> where he's uh, uh, supposedly going in to test drive a car and the salesman comes in and they just rip all over the place. That's kind of like what this sounds like. But he's 19 years old. He's not a professional driver. You know, make no mistake, anything could fucking happen in a moment. And it only takes a blink of an eye for, the, for this fun joyride to turn into tragedy. Absolutely nothing. How many police chases do you think you've been in? Blown in my hands. There's been so many times where like the boys just get behind us and they start chasing. Well, like it's not really chases to us. It's really back home. Do you think you're the most wanted driver in New York? Between me and where's 981, like where's 981 low key died down, I feel like I've taken over that spot. So yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of young men that watch your content. What do you think about kids that want to go try and replicate this? Oh my god, it? that is a great point. That is a great point. You know, one of the things, why do you think we do this channel and, and we have the perspective that we do? Because we, do, we know that we um, influence people, you know? Uh, they look up to, you know, a lawyer. They look up to the, this guy who's driving. You know, they, they, they see something on a screen and they think somehow, you know, that we need to do that. You know, I mean, I'm not that great. I'm just a fucking lawyer, you know? I'm, but with, with this platform comes some responsibility so i like to you know motivate kids to go to college and to build their life this motivates them to to do copycat bullshit and i guarantee you there are copycat kids who are doing this don't do as i do do as i say this is something that you can get paralyzed you can die i don't drive like this you shouldn't some people in this game take lots of risks and squeeze is one of those guys but highly advise I do agree with, the, with what they just said. Don't do this. Two reasons. One, you can wreck your fucking car. You can wreck yourself. You can, and, and you can go to jail. So, oh, speaking of jail, in the New York Post, an obnoxious street racing influencer was finally arrested after he filmed a series of videos taunting cops in high-speed stunts with expensive cars across New York City and New Jersey cops said. A Queens daredevil Antonio Genestri 19 was nabbed last week after cops linked him to the popular Squeeze Ben's account on Instagram and Twitter and now he's facing a slew of charges for reckless driving and eluding police highlighted by videos he posted in his more than 1 million social media followers. 
one of the one of the most prolific street racers in New York City, can no longer treat the Big Apple like the Indy 500, according to NYPD police commissioner. And if you watch these videos, there's tells. You know, there's little little things you can you know, they can say. Oh, we got this little this hoodie. We've seen this hoodie before. We've seen this before. We've seen the way he talks. You know, even though he's got his face covered and he's and his voice is disguised, it doesn't matter because there's ways that they can link it back. And especially just something as easy as, well, who owns uh, Squeeze Ben's account? You know, where does that money go? My point is, is that this is all well and good, but it's not all well and good, right? Be safe out there. So this has been our reaction to uh, Squeeze Ben's. And I, you know, I may sound like an old fart, you know, old kids today, you know, one little fucking slip, one somebody, one pedestrian coming out and getting clobbered, you know, can end in tragedy for everybody. And if you kill somebody, guess what? It ain't that funny. And that, and that joy ride, was that worth it? No, it wasn't. Remember that drunk? We, we did a reaction to a drunk a while back, and she was kind of laughing. Ha, ah, she's all drunk and had no idea she killed two people. You know, that's how quickly something can change. So make sure you plan ahead, whether it's a ride or whatever you're doing, and make sure you stay safe. So this is Bruce Rivers, criminal defense lawyer, board certified, I might add, and um, Michael Rivers, the content genius behind the camera. A lot of comments have been made about what this is. Well, let me just tell you, there's somebody very special to me that's uh, 4,500 miles away. She's just amazing. She's Irish, and uh, actually, she's coming to visit. So I just wanted to give a shout-out to Chloe. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your board-certified criminal defense lawyer. We'll see you next time on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm part of Bruce Rivers is broke, got your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my goal.